Let me stop playing. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. Happy Halloween to everyone out there that, uh, you know, actually participates in Halloween and dress up and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy yourselves tonight. If you go trick or treating, go to a haunted house, just make sure you're safe out there, man. So, I had to uh, dress up for the occasion. Um, so, the next couple of videos, I will be in my Jason outfit. Uh, we've already uh, posted some on the main page and I've seen some of y'all call me toxic Jason come on guys let's not do this I would like to say Jason with the drip you know what I'm saying I can kill you with the the machete or I can kill you with the drip which one you choose but we're gonna get right into this one uh, this is what happens to a wrestler's body by tap out corner scrap the tap out corner if you haven't already wrestlers go through immense amount of pain on a weekly basis and sometimes they get injured so we're going to check out some of these situations where a wrestler's body just <laughs> was ravaged through just the pure contact of the wrestling world and them being in the ring on a consistent basis appreciate all love and support you guys are showing on the channel let's get right into this one man at WWE and pro wrestling more broadly isn't a real competitive sport. What isn't as well known is the long-term damage wrestling has on Jesus. someone's body. Stone Cold Steve Austin showed wrestling had done to his health when he Jeez. shared this gruesome image of his elbow. Austin, as well as many other wrestlers, suffers from ulcerative bursitis. What happens is a small fluid sac near the elbow called bursus becomes irritated or inflamed and fills with extra fluid. For wrestlers, this often comes as the result of hitting the ring mat with their elbows repeatedly. Jeez. Other wrestlers have suffered from ulcerative bursitis too, such as John Cena. Yeah, I've seen it uh, with John Cena, and we just recently seen it with Sami Zayn not too long ago. And Sami Zayn. Another body part that can be altered because of wrestling is the ear. Wrestlers like Brock mm. Lesnar and Bruno San Martino suffered from cauliflower ear, which causes the ear to look deformed. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower ear is a result of getting hit in the ear hard enough that it causes the cartilage to separate from the skin. This is mm -hmm. one reason why amateur wrestlers wear headgear. While cauliflower ear doesn't always have negative effects, it can still cause hearing loss. Kurt Angle had cauliflower ear, and despite having it drained, the injury caused him to go deaf in his left ear Jeez, another part bro. of a wrestler's body that's just once again this is why kurt angle is a legend he's a goat because he has put his body through so much pain just to entertain us he deserves to be uh you know appreciated for the things he's done in the wrestling world not just in wwe and all of wrestling in any other company he's ever been in he deserves that appreciation body that can be deformed is the chest. Several wrestlers have had a noticeably wider gap in their pectoral muscles as they progress in their careers. Mm -hmm. The reason for this is due to microtrauma, or more simply, all the abuse they take from wrestling. Jeez. These microtraumas cause nerve damage and muscle tears, and this can result in a wrestler's pec separating. Blading is another part of wrestling that can affect a wrestler's body. Blading mm -hmm. is when a wrestler secretly cuts themselves during a match to make it look like their opponent busted them open. Some wrestlers have had lasting damage done to their heads yeah. because of it. Both Devon Dudley Dusty Rhodes and especially WWE Hall of Famer Abdullah the Butcher carry scars on their forehead from years of blading. More serious issues that can affect a wrestler's long-term health and even kill them are those caused by steroids and painkillers. Mm -hmm. One side effect of taking steroids is acne. Wrestlers who are using the substance will often have an acne breakout, particularly on their backs. Another condition caused by steroid use mm. is gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is caused by a chemical imbalance and results in breast tissue swelling, making a wrestler's pecs look inflated and overgrown. Unfortunately, the effects of gynecomastia are permanent and require surgery to fix. Oh, However, wow. the danger of steroids and other drugs that wrestlers take is what it does to their hearts. During his WWE run from 2000 to 2005, Eddie Guerrero's body doubled in size. While this undoubtedly helped advance his career, it would unfortunately lead to his premature death. Guerrero was found unconscious in his hotel room in November 2005. While being rushed to the hospital, Eddie tragically died. An autopsy revealed that Guerrero had an enlarged heart, which was caused by steroids. The ultimate warrior would pass away. And it's one of those things where, you know, Vince has the vision. He's had the vision for a long time. And it's always been like that for wrestling. It's changed now. But the vision of a wrestler that's at the top of the card should look a certain way. Should have a certain physique. That's just how it's been in wrestling. Now, that's changed over the years. And you don't have to be have that type of physique to still you know be at the top of the company but it, it does you have to do a little bit more you got to really get over with the fans 
for that to happen. And I, I do feel like, you know, the industry has shifted. You don't have to be that huge muscular guy anymore to be at the top of the card, you know. And I think for the better, because at the end of the day, if you do get to that that physique naturally, that's awesome. But when you start doing steroids and stuff like that, they have long-term effects and potentially life-altering effects, so. Wait, over eight years later, from a very similar condition to Guerrero. Like Eddie, Warrior also used steroids as well as mm -hmm. other drugs, and this contributed to his untimely death. Regardless of how safe a wrestler is, it's almost a guarantee that they will need to go under the knife at some point. Yeah. Even though the surgeries are usually successful, And this is a crazy thing. It's like, damn near, it's a guarantee, especially if you're on there on a weekly basis. You're guaranteed to at some point have to get surgery, bro, or some type of medical treatment because your body can only take so much before it needs to be healed and, and fixed up properly. Wrestlers will often be left with noticeable scars on their bodies. Scott Steiner suffered a torn trachea in 2007, and doctors had to cut through his ribs and lungs in order to save him. Sheesh. This left a massive scar on the side oh my of Big Papa's body. Ryback also suffered a serious injury when he broke his ankle during a match. The injury required three surgeries to fix, and it left a massive scar Jeez. on his left leg. Some retired wrestlers even have to undergo surgery just to have a more comfortable life. Arguably mm -hmm. the most famous wrestler of all time, Hulk Hogan, has had over 20 surgeries, including 10 in his his back. Similarly, The Undertaker had to undergo hip replacement surgery yep. after two decades of wrestling. This has also caused changes in wrestlers' heights. In his prime, Hulk Hogan stood at six foot seven inches, mm -hmm. but after numerous surgeries, the Hulkster is closer to six foot four. Roddy Piper likewise went from six foot two during his days in the ring to about five foot nine at the time of his death. That's there are also crazy. some freak accidents that have caused irreversible damage to wrestlers' bodies. Shawn Michaels' famous lazy eye happened while he was wrestling a match. HBK got hit in the Phase, which caused Michael's retina to tear. Sheesh. The injury became more and more noticeable, leading to the showstopper getting a lazy eye. Mick Foley, on the other hand, lost part of his mm -hmm. ear. While wrestling at a show in Germany, Foley got his head caught in the ropes. Now, Foley had done the stunt before, but the difference this time was that the ropes were tighter than usual. This caused Mick Foley to get legitimately stuck, and he started screaming for help. Thankfully, the hardcore legend Jesus. managed to get out before he lost consciousness, but the ropes did take off part of Foley's right ear. While both these incidents are sad, one of the biggest life-altering wrestling injuries happened to Draws. After spending several years as a football player for the NFL, Draws got involved with wrestling. He was signed to WWE in 1998 and seemed to have a promising career, being paired with the legendary Legion of Doom upon his debut. However, that all be cut short in 1999. On SmackDown, Draws took on D'Lo Brown. During the match, Brown went to perform his signature running powerbomb. However, D'Lo didn't get a tight enough hold on Draws, uh, causing yeah, Brown's opponent to land on his head. Yeah. The injury was very serious, mm -hmm. and while Draws didn't die, he was permanently paralyzed from the waist down. Because of all these risks and long-term damage, wrestlers have a lot of respect for the business. This is why there are a number of unwritten rules and traditions in wrestling. Of course, yeah, out... that, that story, dare to try to hurt anyone, legitimately. I know they're supposed to sell that image, but you're not there to really try to end someone's career or whatnot. You're there to put on a performance to make sure everyone gets a chance to go back home to their families and loved ones after the match so once again much respect to the wrestlers out there this is why i always will give them the utmost respect because they're doing things that us watching you me and everyone else is watching at home and reacting to the videos and checking out the clips and being like holy holy crap i can't believe they did this or he jumped off this or he did this or we wouldn't do that <laughs> they would so we can always have those moments and got to show love and appreciation for that so comment down below let me know some other videos you guys want me to check out man uh, i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to under 50k and i'm still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all on the next one peace